When you test your sites and apps with Playwright, you probably know the problem of flaky tests. And sometimes it looks like the Playwright is just too fast, which leads to flaky tests. Let me show you in this video a very common problem and how to solve it. Here we have a quick demo site that really just includes this button that disappears when I click it and it then shows this headline that tells me that this was a great click. The end-to-end -end test for it is very straightforward. So we navigate to localhost, we click the button and then we expect that there will be a heading that includes the substring great click. But when we now run the test, we will discover that this won't work. So what's the problem here? When we reload the page or if we press the button very quickly, you see that it's not always working and that it takes a moment until the button behavior kicks in. This is a behavior commonly known as poor hydration and it's very common in the modern web. Many websites out there ship HTML that looks like it's doing anything, but actually it is waiting for JavaScript to be loaded. And it only works once the JavaScript is there. This behavior usually leads to pretty poor user experience because you never know when the JavaScript will arrive. And poor UX often leads to hard to test websites or test flakiness. So how can you solve this problem? If you're also developing the front end, you could first of all, make everything work without JS too. So when Playwright is then too fast clicking a button or filling out a form, it will just work. You could also show some placeholders until the JavaScript is loaded or disable the button because it's not doing anything after all. Playwright will then wait until this button is enabled. Or if none of these options work, you could show a loading spinner signaling that something is happening Happening, and your Playwright tests could wait for this spinner to disappear to then click the button. But what can you do when you cannot change the website or application? Let me show you a simple trick to make your end-to-end -end tests still pass. The problem with this test case is that when Playwright clicks this button, the JavaScript isn't loaded yet, which means that this heading here will never become visible. And we could now add a hard-coded timeout here, but timeouts are rarely a good solution. So instead of waiting an arbitrary amount of time, we can go in here and we can say expect to pass. And I will explain that in a second. And we can pass a callback function that will be asynchronous. And now we can move this action and the assertion into the to pass assertion. When we now rerun the test, we will have a nice and green playwright test case. But what is this magic? To pass allows us to define code blocks in this async function here that will be retried if they're failing. So when Playwright clicks the button and this heading won't become visible, it will just time out and it will try it again until it works. So when you're trying to test a UI that only becomes functional after a moment of time, you can implement your own retry logic. And this usually helps me to solve these Playwright is too fast cases.